piece, I do not know why I'm doing this or who this is for. I'm just trying to be obedient, which I generally suck at. But let me get to what I'm supposed to say. What I'm supposed to say this is you do not have to be perfect to get pregnant or be pregnant or adopt or welcome that child into your life. You don't have to be perfect. All your trauma <laughs> does not have to be healed. All your familiar relationships may not be perfect and harmonious. What does matter is that you're open and you're receptive and you are doing the best that you can and that you're doing what you've been asked to do. Quite often, the children who incarnate to be with us, um, at least in my experience, and I'm a stranger on the internet, so you're going to have to take this with a grain of salt. My experience was they told me, they were like, look, it's baby time. <laughs> You either having us or not, Missy. But uh, come on. When it's time, it's time. The child will come. And maybe your relationship with your mom isn't all healed. Maybe you still think your dad's an asshole. Maybe you're not quite sure about your partner. If it's meant to be, that kid is coming anyway. Now, there are some sort of caveats and some things I'd like to say that are helpful before, you know, doing all that, it is helpful to understand where you are in your healing process and things that you need to work on and have some supports for working on them through pregnancy because pregnancy can bring up a whole lot of stuff. And then after the baby's here, because after the baby is here, it, it's a little wild. It's good to know. It's good to know also ancestrally what your lineage is working on, where where your lineage, where you specifically are helping your lineage, like, heal. What do you bring into the pot, right? It's awesome if you can get it and <laughs> to understand what the child is bringing to the pot, to the lineage, to life, too. Because when you're, when the child comes, they have their own destiny. They have their own gifts. They have their own things that they need to do that may or may not have anything to do with you, right? We are the portal. <laughs> we are a loving portal, but we are the portal and we are the earth. We nourish. It's also helpful to know if you have a um, partner and you like, you know, you're making the baby together to understand like what that partner's spirits are doing, what their ancestry is doing, what ideally what the child is doing for their ancestry as well. Because when, when the baby comes... <laughs> You have some sort of connection to that and that group, those that group of ancestors too. So it's good to understand what they're about. Ideally, if you're together, you kind of know this, but not everybody does. Not everybody does. Even before um, going ham into conception, it's really a good idea to get some sort of reading to cultivate some sort of understanding about what's going on with your lineage and their lineage too. But also understand like if you're not in a perfect space and maybe even you're pregnant now, like it's okay because the things that you need to do for that child, you, you just need to listen and ask for help and be supported. Be supported. That child might be even bringing supports and gifts for you. You don't have to figure everything out. You're not alone. But yeah, take that for whatever it's worth. But you ain't got to be perfect. And even if you feel like you have things healed up and understanding, understood from like your experience of what childhood was, and you're like, I'm not doing that shit. I've done this. I've gone to therapy 85 years. I've done this. I've, you know... When the child comes, some us, some stuff might kick up, and that's okay because healing is a spiral and not necessarily a a line. You go deeper into it. So, give yourself grace and compassion, and know when it's time it'll happen, and allow it to happen. 
that's it. I hope this was a blessing. Please receive whatever feels right and spit the rest out because you got to be careful just listening to random people on the internet because some of us are 